guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing like sort of like breaking down the palettes I've gotten so far for the holidays. Which ones you need, which ones you guys should be like, I'll pass on this because I'll save my monies. It's taking me a while because I, I'm i not getting this sent to me. I am buying these myself. So I've gotten a little bit of everything. I've gotten some face stuff. I've gotten some eye stuff. Now there are a lot more like holiday kits, um, holiday palettes that I haven't gotten my hands on because they weren't in the store when I went yesterday. So if you guys want me to review even more, leave them in the comments down below and tell me which ones you guys want me to review. And so you guys know, I will be getting the Lorac Pro 3, the Mega Pro 3. The Kat Von D one and the Too Faced from Sephora, they just didn't have them in store yesterday, so I wasn't able to grab them. But oh, let's get started with one that I wasn't really impressed with, but it's something that somebody that has difficulty, like, or not really difficulty, but someone that doesn't like too much makeup, but wants to wear makeup, will like. And this was like more of like a subtlety makeup for me, that's why I wasn't like so impressed with it, but it wasn't the worst palette ever. And we're going to start with the Perfect 10 by Too Faced, not Too Faced, Soap and Glory. They recently started carrying it at my Walgreens, and that's where I got it. This is limited edition. There's like one matte, <laughs> and that's pretty much it. The only matte one is called Toasty, which is nice. Um, this is a very mauve palette. I would say this is for someone who likes subtlety. They all kind of blend into one, which is not that... Uh, it doesn't give you as much like creativity as you would want to. They're very subtle, very soft. So if you're looking for something more subtle, this is good for you. It's pigmented, but not like the best. It's like mediocre, which I use for every day. I don't want something like this every day at work. So this would work for me like every day. It's not an expensive palette as well. It's $20.00. Soap & Glory is a really good brand that I love their bath care stuff and you guys know my favorite lip gloss comes from them. But if I, I didn't go gaga crazy when I put this on, I was just like, I'll use it every day for work. Like, it'll be like a no-brainer, but overall, like, if you're gonna give this to someone, they're gonna be like, oh, thanks. You're so crazy. But like, for a beginner, like, a beginner, or someone who likes really subtle eyeshadows, this is kind of good. But I didn't go crazy for it, you know what I'm saying. Next we have the Too Faced Christmas from Ulta. This is the Ulta one. And then they have one that's like both Sephora and Ulta. And then they have the Sephora one. I don't have the Sephora one yet. But this comes in a similar box that came last year. Last year's was a blue one. And then you open it up and you uh, get like a little diagram right there. And then in here comes a Better Than Sex Mascara, which I will give to my sister because I don't really use that. And then it comes, the palette comes down here. So you pull up your palette. I save these because I think they're so cute, like for decoration. The shimmers in here are really, really good. Here they are on my fingers. This one has nothing, so I'm doing spot of So they're really, really pigmented. The mattes blend out beautifully in here. Now this, I prefer this one over the other ones. I'll tell you guys why. Um, this one was, I think, less expensive than the house was. But I will link all the prices down below as well. Um, so let's move on to the next one. The next one is like a little house. Uh, it comes with like a little top, so let me look for it. <laughs> Hi. It's like a little top. It's the same one that they had last year. The last year was all pink and gold. So you open it up, and it's like a little cafe. You get a little sec better than sex mascara. It looks like this. It's cute. I'm going to keep this as well. Then it comes with three palettes, which you could gift separately um, to your friends, because it says to and from, so it'll be like a cute gift. <sighs> the mattes in here are good, the face powders are good, the shimmer colors, not so great. They have a little bit of like pigment, but then they're mostly like, they look like shadow toppers to me. Like that's what one of them looks like, and I will swatch it for you guys. It looks more like a shadow topper. These are in the Gingerbread Man. It's the purpley and like orangey copper one. They look more like shadow toppers, which I like me a shimmer. I don't really like shadow toppers because they tend to like fall off and you need to use glitter glue. The same thing with sprinkles. It was very sheer. It's this, let me do it another finger. So this is sprinkles in the peppermint mocha one and it's kind of really sheer. And this one was like the worst one I had because it had really bad, th three bad shadows. 
the mattes in here were not good and then sprinkles was not good as well it was not pigmented enough for me when I went in with the brush on my eye just like look like a wash of nothing so this one was the worst one out of all of them and they're all scented this one scented like eggnog this one scented like peppermint mocha and the other one is scented like gingerbread cookie they all smell like vanilla -y spice like they don't smell <laughs> I don't know, they, they all smell the same to me because when I smelled the lipstick that was peppermint mocha, the one they have limited edition for the holiday, it did smell like a peppermint mocha, like chocolatey, pepperminty. smelled really good, but these all have like a very faint smell of vanilla spice. These I would pass on and get the other holiday palette, the one from Ulta, because unless you like shimmery toppers, which I just want a shimmer like all over my lid. And these just were toppers and the mattes are good but the other ones were I was just like this isn't good enough for me to spend that much money on it um, the ones last year were really good but these year were kind of like a C like I would not give them an A I'll give them a C the other one gets a B these get a C another palette everybody went crazy about and I, I love Too Faced like one of my favorite palettes is the Bomb Bombs palette it's mauve it's like my favorite but this is like controversy on the internet and I got it because I saw it in store. I wasn't even going to get it. And then I saw it in store I was like whatever. I, won't, I don't want to pass up the opportunity of getting something that supports someone from YouTube. That's usually what happens. Like if I see it in stores I will get it but like if it doesn't cross my mind when I'm ordering online. So then I saw the Naked Tutorials. I don't know if they're going to restock this or what but it was like super limited edition. Um, and I don't love this. Like I do not love this. The I get people were pissed off because they say it wasn't pigmented but I feel like none of these colors work well together unless you have a very creative mind which I don't I like very neutral like colors that I, I like palettes that I know I'm gonna wear all the time so I know I would probably wear the middle row and that's all I would get out of this palette um, and there was a huge controversy on this. I just wanted to tell you guys, if you guys didn't get your hands on these, this palette, it's alright. You guys can buy their new holiday palette. They have a purple in there. They have a lot of matte um, colors in their holiday palettes. So if you missed out on this, it's alright. Don't be upset. Like the And the worst thing about this was this highlighter looks like chalk if you're not like really light skinned. So... Overall, this one, I would say, if you guys didn't get your hands on it, don't be upset. Um, get their holiday palette, the Christmas in New York. It doesn't look exactly like it, but you guys can, like, get the gist of what they look like. Like, yeah. They look very similar. And it's still available. So, if you guys didn't get your hands on this, <laughs> get your hands on this one. It doesn't have the face powders in it, but... Whatever, you guys can get by a blush. And I mean it's the same thing. So don't don't be upset. I didn't I was I don't really pull for that palette because it's way too colorful for my life. I pull for more of these colors. But yeah, I did want to get it just to support her because I did watch her ever since she met Nicole Guerrero at IMATS like years ago. I started watching her when she had that skull um shirt on. I was like, holy shit, like she met her, like she, that's when I started watching her. Her makeup is amazing, but this palette was not my favorite palette. I like the bunny one better from Tarte. Like that one and the Harouche, those is good. I was not expecting to buy this in stores, but then I found it and it was the Master Palette by Mario by Anastasia. This is what I'm wearing all over my eyes. The brush I came with this palette is the only one I used in this look today. I, I have Isabel and Lula all over my crease and then I have Kim and Paris all over my lids and then underneath I have Violetta. This is a very basic neutral like palette. Natural. But it's a palette that you will use daily. Believe me, I will use this daily. The creaminess in this palette is not, not like any other palette in the Anastasia formula. I feel like these are intensely better. One dip in the powder and you will have intense pigment. You guys will see. One swipe. One swipe. I'm not even pressing hard. One swipe. 
and you guys get full pigment right away like this is what I'm talking about if I want to spend my money on something that's gonna be worth it I feel like this is completely worth it everybody can wear it there are a lot like I can't exp I didn't want to buy this because I was like it looks so boring like it looks like a boring palette but when you put it on and you touch it and you feel the creaminess and it's like holy shiz this is beautiful so I will swatch it for you guys it's right here <laughs> let me put a little bit more of this one So yeah, it's like really, really, I, I mix these two together, but um, the pigmentation in these is ridiculous. They blend out so nicely. It's what I use today on my eyes. Yes, I do have a black eye right now. I will explain it and I don't even want to explain it, but I was not beaten up, so don't worry guys. I am okay. It was an accident. So yeah, this like the creaminess, the way it blends out, it just enhances your eyes instead of like competing with them. So I feel like this is a must get palette before it runs out. I hope they make this permanent. If not, I'm going to go buy another one because I feel like this is going to be my everyday palette for going out. It just, if you look closely, it doesn't even look like powder. It looks like a cream. It look, the shadows literally look like creams. They look creamy, like a creamy powder. So if you guys were thinking about getting a palette, the one I suggest you guys get, like eye palette that's limited edition is this one. It is just so good, and Mario's a great makeup artist. He does very natural makeup, but it looks like very glam, which I am obsessed with, and I'm trying to learn how to do because this is a mask. I'm trying to have half a mask. So, if you guys were thinking about this one, this one is definitely a must-get. Out of everything I mentioned today, this one is the one you guys, you guys need to pick up real quick before they sell out for real. From Anastasia, I also picked up their new glow kit. You guys know I'm obsessed with the glow kits. This one's limited edition for the holiday. And if you guys turn off the lights, this does glow in the dark as well. And this one does come with a mirror. I don't want to blind you, but this one comes with a mirror. And it comes with six pans. I don't think these are like removable like the other ones. But these are very golden, warm toned highlighters. Uh, I was kind of thrown off by this one because it doesn't feel like the other ones. It's, it's very silvery. My fingers are so dirty, but... I have one of them today. I have on White Sand, which is this one. I have it on today mixed with a NARS one, but this is what they look like up close. These are very pigmented highlighters. And I feel like this glow kit is a very good deal. For five more dollars, you get two more highlighters, which are huge. These are huge highlights, which we're not ever going to go through a highlight. And this glow kit actually comes with the mirror, so for $45, I feel like it's great. If you guys haven't been able to get your hands on the other ones, this will work great for light skins to deep skins. I feel like everybody will be able to wear this. You can wear this all over your body. Again, when you do put your brush in here, there are like, shh, it's like glitter. If you guys see, like the... The outsides of it, like there are particles there, but that's with almost every highlighter I have. Like you get particles coming in there, and those are more colors. But this one, I feel like I like it, but I I don't like it as much as my other one, the one of the first ones that came out, which is that glow. That's my favorite one out of everything. But this one, I feel like you get more variation because you do get this white, like stark white, like really light skin tones can wear it, and like you can wear this like as a brow bone, like inner corner highlight. That's gonna be my she's. Like, that's going to go in my inner corner. But I feel like I needed it because it was a glow kit. And the creaminess in here is not as creamy as the shadows, but it's creamy enough where it's not going to look, like, chunky or dry on your skin. It's going to look... Shik -shik. Next, we have the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics. This was $54, I remember, because I saw everybody talking about it. Let me flip it. These are very basic, but they're, like, something you need in your... Kit. The other two basics I don't really use because one's way too cold tones and one's kind of like eh. So this one I feel like it's so pretty. Like it looks like you're being like. <sighs> so let me tell you a little story. I went to the Sephora they opened on Michigan Avenue in Chicago, the new one. It was the last one. 
and I, oh, I was going to open the box to make sure nobody had touched it because there's instances where I go home, I open something and someone touched it and just disgusts me because I don't know where their fingers have been touching assholes, I don't know. So I went in the store and the lady yelled at me and I'm like, I'm going to buy it, it's the last one I'm going to buy. She's like, honey, don't open it. And I get it, all you workers, it's for sanitary reasons, but if I'm going to buy it, you don't know if I'm buying it, but I was going to buy it, like, and I didn't want nobody's nasty fingers in it. She yelled at me and I was like... I have a good day, make sure me around. But yeah, this one's really, it's like cool toned, but then it's also warm toned and like neutrally and like feel like if you, these are very easy to, um, what's it called? To blend as well. And if you need something that's like easy, non, not something you're going to have to a lot of fuss with, this is very good. Um, I like that this stands up by itself and the packaging's really pretty as well. So this is, Kind of expensive, but if you're like a makeup artist or a makeup beginner, you need like matte shadows. This is really good to get. The next thing I wasn't even going to get, literally. I just walked into Ulta like that day. I needed a couple things for like makeup remover or whatever. And then I saw this box that had this inside. Right? And I only wanted it because of this box. Like it was so fluorescent. All the new Smashbox um, holiday kit things are coming in this fluorescent like plexiglass things. And I think I'm going to pick up more stuff because they come in this box. So this was $39 and it's huge. Like I, I saw it online, I pictured it a little bit smaller. But this is huge, like it's a face. Um, it's called the LA Lights Blush Contour Highlight Palette. It has a nice weight to it, I love the weight. You guys see like there's like the, that neon going on through it. So I, I saw it in store, I had it in my car in Sephora, I was like, man, eh, whatever, I don't want it. I saw it in stores, I swatched it, I fell in love, and then I come home and I swatch it again, and it was kind of like, it's okay. Um, it's very, very powdery. This is what it looks like. It comes with blushes, a bronzer, and then five, um, five blushes, yeah. Three highlighters, one bronzer, five blushes, which is great if you're traveling, but these highlights were not my favorite. Like, these are not my favorite highlighters. I swatched them on Snapchat too and I was like, I don't know, I don't know. They're kind of more subtle highlights. They don't have that bam factor. So if you guys are more into subtle highlights, I need some blushes. This is a great value for $39. You get nine products, which is great. Like, it's less than the Anastasia and you get a bronzer, highlights, and blushes. But the bronzer is really good. I used it the other day. My favorite blush in here that I've only used, I've used, look at how pretty that, that blush is. This is like a blush I will wear, but it looks, you know, if I put too much, I'll look like a hooker. Um, the one I fell in love with is True Blush, and it's like a peach blush. It's the bottom one, mi bottom middle one. This is good for someone that doesn't have a lot of blush and needs a highlighter and a bronzer, like all in one. This is a... This is probably the best deal out of everything because you get so much in here and the packaging is beautiful. You get a nice box. Like, it's really weighted, like the most weighted out of all these things. The box is made really nicely. The mirror is beautiful. Like, it's a high-def mirror. So, overall, I, I like the blushes more than I like the highlighters is what I'm trying to say. The highlighters don't give me that wow factor that I like. I like very, being very highlighted, but if you like more of a subtle highlighter, then this is something you get. I just don't like that you put your fingerprints get on it like super fast. Like if you're wearing lotion, like your fingerprints is going to get on it. But this is such a beautiful piece. And like if you're gifting this to someone and they see it, like the weight of this box is very heavy. So this is like one of the best gifts to get. So out of everything, the, the things I would buy are the glow kit from Anastasia, the Urban Decay Naked. Um, the Mario is a definite one. And the Smashbox ones just for the variety that's in that one. And then out of the Too Faced ones, I would just get the, the one that Ulta is selling, this one. The Christmas in New York box, because the other one, I just... It does come with more stuff, but it's more expensive, and it's just like too much. That one comes with a mascara, eyeshadows, good to go. And they're pretty good, except for like one or... Yeah, maybe like one in there I didn't like, but everything else I did. So my top pick for this would be get the Mario one. And yeah, I talk way too much. This video is probably going to be like half an hour long. But I just wanted to show you guys like you don't need to get all the holiday palettes. 
of course it would be nice to be able to receive all of them but if you guys can't afford it don't go like crazy racking up shit like on your credit cards because you guys don't need to look up reviews i'm telling you guys the ones you probably need out of everything here is probably the mario one and then from there go on like mario then i will go the glow kit and then i will go smashbox and then i will go urban decay last is the two face ones the other ones you can skip out on but those would probably be the ones that you guys should look out for and then also i will have the Lorac shut up the Lorac pro 3 mega pro 3 on my channel um the kat von d one metal and matte palette and also the sephora and um Too faced holiday palette as well as well as anything else you guys want me to review on my channel see if it's worth it or not and yeah, I hope you guys got an idea of what kit you guys need or what palette you guys need. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye. Look at, look at this packaging. I said I deserve it, so I was like, I'm going to get it. But it's limited edition. It was like $40 on the motherfucker.